Are you considering moving to downtown San Diego with its bustling city streets, trendy restaurants and bars, and stunning waterfront views? Downtown San Diego is a popular destination for residents and tourists alike. However, as with any city, there are pros and cons to living here. In this video, we'll explore the advantages and disadvantages of living in downtown San Diego to help you make an informed decision about whether it's the right place for you. Hi, my name is Ian and welcome to my San Diego real estate channel, where I give tips and tricks for buying and selling homes, video tours, and tell you about the upcoming local events. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Downtown San Diego is located in the southern part of California and is known for its stunning beaches, rich cultural heritage, and diverse community. One of the greatest benefits of living in downtown San Diego is its location. It's situated in the heart of the city, which means that everything you need is within walking distance. One of the best restaurants, coffee shops, and bars, popular shopping districts, entertainment venues, there's something for everyone in downtown San Diego. If you're looking for things to do in downtown, there are many attractions that you can explore. For example, Balboa Park is home to several museums, gardens, and cultural institutions. The Gaslamp Court is famous for its Victorian architecture and is filled with shops, bars, and restaurants. And the USS Midway Museum is an aircraft carrier turned museum that's perfect for history buffs and aviation enthusiasts. If you love the outdoors, you'll be glad to know that downtown is close to several beaches, including Coronado Beach, which has been ranked as one of the best beaches in the world. You can also go hiking, biking, or kayaking in one of the many parks and natural reserves throughout the city. Another great thing about living in downtown San Diego is the weather. For over 266 sunny days a year, you can enjoy the outdoor activities almost year round. Temperature is typically around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect for those who don't like extreme weather conditions. San Diego is home to a diverse population, which means that you can experience different cultures and cuisines from around the world. From Mexican tacos to Japanese ramen, there's no shortage of delicious food to try in downtown. However, there are also some downsides to living in downtown San Diego. One of the biggest drawbacks is the cost of living, which is higher than the national average. The cost of rent and housing and groceries can be expensive, so it's important to budget wisely. Additionally, traffic can be a problem, especially during peak hours, and parking can be difficult to find. Another concern for the residents of downtown is the high number of homeless new people. While the city is working to address the issue, it can still be a concern for some residents. Now, although some San Diegans have an issue with it, I have to give some perspective. If you've been in Los Angeles or San Francisco, our number of homeless people is drastically less. So just like when you hear one of us complain about rain, when it's really a light mist, or we say it's freezing because it's 63 degrees outside, just ignore our first world complaints. Finally, the city's popularity can also be a double-edged sword. While it's great to live in a city with so many attractions and events, it can also mean that the streets get really crowded, especially during peak tourist season. Additionally, noise pollution from music, traffic, and construction can be a problem for some residents. I personally live in East Village, so I anticipate traffic based on the Padres' home games. But what really throws me off is when there are concerts or events that I'm just not tracking. For example, when Bad Bunny came to Petco last year, it was crazy. It was sold out from Thursday to Sunday. Traffic was nuts. As a matter of fact, I don't think it ended until like 2 a.m. on Monday morning as if people wanted to work. But overall, it's just not too bad. And just for some more perspective, like I said earlier, it's traffic, but once again, it's just a few minutes wait. It's not real traffic in Los Angeles. If you're considering moving to this city, make sure to weigh the pros and cons carefully and do your research before making any big decisions. It's important to find the right neighborhood and living situation that fits your lifestyle and budget. Stay tuned and I'll do some videos on the different neighborhoods of downtown like East Village versus Little Italy, Marina versus Port Columbia or something like that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this and to let me know in the comments below what other parts of San Diego you'd like me to cover.